Hi everybody, I'm Rob back at the Dashboard Studios and we're going to talk about um, how to choose the size of the bench dogs when you are checking out with our guide rail bracket bundle. So we have a drop down menu where you need to select one of three sizes of the bench dogs that will come with that bundle. So we offer uh, three sizes. Uh, this is a one inch, about 25 millimeters, half inch, about 12 millimeters, three sixteenths, about 4.7 millimeters tall. And so I just want to help explain why you would choose one or the other. They're all used with the uh, universal setup block, which is also part of that bundle. They all fit just fine with those. Okay. So um, beyond the basic setup process, you can choose them based on how you might want to use them otherwise. And so we have some representative uh, samples of thicknesses of plywood that you might be using. Three quarters inch, 18 millimeters, half inch, 12 millimeters, uh, this is 5.5 uh, millimeters, a little under a quarter inch. Um, so uh, basically, the one inch tall or 25 millimeter tall is good for you know, many uses where it doesn't matter if this uh, extends above the height of uh, the piece you're working on. So there it is. It's taller than what I'm using. Maybe you have thicker material than uh, in that case. That's also great. Let's say you're sanding and you don't want to run into that. So if you have, you know, thicker material, you could get away with a one inch high or 25 millimeters and not run into it with your sander, mess up your sander. Uh, or if you are going to be sanding, you probably want to use the intermediate size, half inch, 12 millimeters, because that way your sander will not hit those. You could also use the shorties if you want. Same thing. Now, if you're using this intermediate size plywood, half inch, 12 millimeter, the same thing applies. And in fact, these are a little bit shorter than that. So you can do that, use your sander and still not run into those. Now, if you have the thin stuff, this is 5.5 millimeter underlayment. In fact, obviously that doesn't work. So you want the thin ones. 3 sixteenths, 4.7 millimeters. Thinner than this, you can get away with the same stuff. Here comes your sander. Look at that, doesn't hit it. So it, no matter how you're going to use this, I hope that explains what it's all about. The other thing is, if let's say you're performing some impromptu um, cutting process with your track saw on let's say three quarters or 18 millimeter material, you don't want your guide rail to get hung up on a tall dog and not be able to hit the surface of the material. So you would choose a thinner one. So the guide rail passes right over it. And that's about the most there is to explain. Thanks for watching.